Hey, hello, hi, welcome everybody back to a new video and today we're going to be checking out one of the cheapest mods you can do to your 3ds. So of course you guys know about software mods which is pretty much just adding custom firmware to your 3ds, of course that's free. But today we're going to be doing a hardware mod, we're going to be modifying this little nub right here and as you can see it's extremely stiff if you're to like um it's i don't know it just feels really weird it feels like you're moving the tip of an eraser and i feel like if you were to like dig your nail into it over time it'll like really just wear down and honestly it's not my kind of type i feel like this isn't gonna last very long is we're gonna be taking a psp 1000 stick and pretty much putting it right there and replacing it so that um, we're going to be able to use it a lot better. So um, let's just get right into it. So buying these is actually not that expensive on eBay or something like that. You can go search up a PSP 1000 replacement stick and it should just uh, give you little sort of a caps like this. It's pretty small. Um, there's also like two packs. So I got um, two of them. So if I ever needed to replace one or something, I'll have an extra one lying around. They're just pretty much pieces of plastic we're going to be putting onto our C-Stick. So first thing we're going to try to do is actually go ahead and turn off our 3DS. So I've seen a few tutorials online where it's basically you're trying to take this thing out with like say a screwdriver or something and just uh, kind of have this come out and like cut a bit of the plastic. I don't want to do that because I do want to save this uh, for say if this just doesn't end up going well or something. I don't know. I just don't want to destroy the console. So we can go ahead and just take this out. And then what we can go and do now is just uh, go ahead and take out any game carts we have. I already have mine taken out. The stylus. I don't have a stylus. And then we can just go ahead and take these screws out. There we go. We have the back taken off just like that. And then what we can go and do is just go ahead and take out a few screws. About um eight screws, eight or nine, something like that. There's one, two, three, four, five six and then seven and eight so there's also two be uh, behind this little feet that we have to take off so we're gonna go ahead and uh take all these out right now oh but before we do that we need to go ahead and take out the battery of course go ahead and take that out take out our sd card and then now we can go ahead and start unscrewing we're gonna need um a pretty small screwdriver you can go ahead and get them off of ebay or something like that with your PSP caps. We can go ahead and just take that out, put this in a safe place. Okay, so we went ahead and took off all of these screws right here. So now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and uh, take the screws off of these feet right here. So you could probably just go ahead and do it with your nail. I wanna be careful to try not to cut the feet because I've done that before. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I went ahead and took out the rest and pretty much all we need to do from here is just go ahead and take off the plate we can just go ahead and lift this up carefully because there's some ribbon cables that we really wouldn't want to destroy right now yeah there's two ribbon cables right here so i want to go ahead and take out this part first because it is kind of stuck there we go and i'm just going to go ahead and turn it around and just be really careful there's one thing right here there we go and there's another one right here just want to go ahead and take that out there we go and as you can see we have little faceplate taken off and we can go ahead and direct our attention towards right here so right here is the c stick so pretty much all we just need to do is go ahead and uh, sort of take these three screws out right they're super tiny so you just want to be really careful with those okay so there we go we have the c stick loosened up and pretty much all we can do from here is just lift it up and take out our C-stick. Try to be careful not to rip this uh, ribbon cable that's right here because if you rip that, you're out of a C-stick. And there we go. We have the C-stick right here. And pretty much like as I was saying earlier, the other tutorials wanted you to go ahead and cut these little two rings right here. That's extra like, like once you cut these, you really don't have a C-stick anymore. So I want to go ahead and save this and just keep it to the side. And then what we can go and do next is just put back the screws. Okay, so we went ahead and put these back and pretty much all we need to do is just put these little ribbon cables back in. We have to put uh, this back into into right here. And, we'll, and we have to put this one back into this. So yeah, this seems like it's gonna be pretty hard. So I'm gonna try to take some time on this one. 
All right, so we went ahead and put these in pretty carefully. And so what we can go ahead and do next, here we go, and then just put this back on. There we go. And of course, we could just go ahead and put the screws back in. All right, so we went ahead and put the screws back in, and now we just wanna go ahead and put the little rubber feet back in and put our battery in, our SD card, and your stylus and game, of course, and all that. And we go ahead and put the shell back on. Okay, so now if we just go ahead and open up our console you could see that the c stick is gone so we can just go ahead and take our cap right here and go ahead and try to align it and just kind of stick it in there so okay as if you see right here it is kind of a uh, rectangular and this is sort of a square shape so we can go ahead and just try again like i said just try to align it once you kind of find the spot for it you don't be afraid to go ahead and put some pressure on it here to make it fit and there we go as you can see our C stick is on. So we can just go ahead and turn our console on. We can go ahead and test out the C stick and it works. So we can go ahead and just move it around. I like this a bit better because, you know, I have more grip on it and I don't feel like I'm sort of destroying the little kind of rubber every time I use it. If you guys do kind of notice when you guys do this, there will be some wobbling. And um, if you're like me, you're picky. Um, I don't like that. So what, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, sort of modify it a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and take it out again. This time I'm gonna get these bad boys over here. We're gonna go ahead and sort of try to take this rectangular shape, just use the pliers to go ahead and make it into a square. So it, like if you go ahead and compare them, there is a rectangle and a square. So let's just try to make it the same size as this one. And this is the part where um, getting the two pack really comes in handy because if this doesn't work out, you can just go ahead and pop the other one back in and just continue like that. Okay, so there we go. I kind of got it to sort of bend into a square. So we go ahead and compare them. They're pretty similar. So we can just go ahead and try to pop it back on. And as you can see, it pops in just nicely like that. There's no moving at all. So if you go ahead and move it this way, that way, or any other sort of way, it doesn't move so and there we go that's our cheapest hardware mod on our 3ds and if you guys liked what you saw make sure to leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video